Okay, I thought you guys would like to see the nature and technology building while I'm on break here today. Inside nature and technology is a bunch of displays basically showing the new world. This is a Spanish soldier's helmet. If you are into pirates, here is a flintlock pistol circa 1750. There's also information about Audubon's birds. John James Audubon. I don't know if you've heard of the Audubon Society. You can also get to see the clothing that people wore back in the day. This is a two-tone linen rust bustle dress and straw hat that the women wore around 1880. For some reason this makes me think of Mary Poppins. This is Brevard County in 1860. Only had 300 people here. Now that's interesting. There's also a display of the toys that the children played with back in the day. These are from the 1840s all the way up to the 1880s. And a lot of information here about Florida. And I guess some of the cities had their little posters. Also some displays of various utensils from the pioneers. Playing cards. Wow, those were what the old playing cards looked like. Get it to focus for you. It's pretty neat. Try to leave it here so you can pause it if you want to read. This is the 19, I mean 1833 Farmer's Almanac. You know, back then they would have had to actually typeset each of those letters. Potions and remedies. Here, I guess this is a nature part. The information about Kennedy Space Center. And some of the wildlife you may find here, including deer, which we've seen some at the Palm Bay compound. Hello, deer. How are you? You can see the Spanish moss hanging from the trees. Yeah, I will leave for you to pause if you want to read it. And of course, we got these birds, various birds. You've seen the real ones and the ducks. And of course, our friend here, Mr. Alligator. These are the lagoons. It's interesting to see this display, which is what a lot of tourists see. Um, if you've been following my channel, then you've seen the real one. <laughs> and the real gators. Things are a little bit safer here, as these aren't real. Or they may be stuffed. I think they are stuffed. Because they look awfully real to me. Just not living anymore. Some of the dangers, some of you are asking, well, you know, what kind of animals and stuff around here. These are, I guess we can learn the names of these animals. These are those birds that we see sometimes that spread out their wings. They're called, I think, Anhinga. And the white ones that I always wonder, they call the great egret. The snowy egret is the other one. These two look almost the same. I guess one has a black beak and one has a yellow. 
Then you got the water moccasins. They actually swim around in the water. So I don't think I caught any on film yet, but I've seen them in the water. So there's always a danger when you're walking around, you know, around the marshes and stuff uh, of this area, including at the compound and any water areas around here, which it's all over the place. That you can see on the ground is a moccasin. I think it's a moccasin. Getting ready to strike. Always my fear when hanging out at the compound and walking around because they are all over the place. Do you have the beach habitat, which we've seen often? This is a pelican. And there are sea turtles here. Maybe one of these days we'll try to go out and see the real sea turtle hatchings because they have um, sea turtle hatching seasons. Having a bit of a focus issue here. They do lay eggs along Brevard County. Sometimes I think I pointed out where they put the, um, the little markers, you know, the, they fence it off and let you know to leave that area alone because underneath there are actually sea turtle eggs. And they tend to hatch at night and they they have rules about the lights on the beach have to all be off because the turtles are attracted towards bright light and they will actually swim towards the brightest light. Canaveral National Seashores is just right down the, um, the road here from NASA, from the Kennedy Space Center. And that is a wildlife sanctuary. This is what the Florida beaches look like. The Canaveral National Seashore is the longest undeveloped beach on Florida's Atlantic coast. Just another panel here if you want to freeze frame and look at it. The Pline Flatwood. We've got raccoons, hawk, the bobcat, which we've seen at the compound. I don't know if I've ever shown that, but there are bobcats running around the compound. Woodpeckers and wild hogs and rattlesnake. So here you can see some of the animals that I've actually encountered out at the compound. And of course our friendly raccoon here. Mmm, mmm. Tastes so good. <laughs> and our bobcat. There is a bobcat that lives and at the compound that I've encountered a couple times. Another panel for you to freeze frame and read if you'd like to learn more about animal preservation. And of course, Native Americans frequently lived within shady hammock habitats. Pottery pieces and shell tools are often found in these areas. Of course, we have the possum, or possum, and the armadillo. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Here's our friend, Mr. Armadillo. And yeah, I'm beginning to think these are all carcasses we're looking at. <laughs> They're all stuffed. Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. It was established in 1863 as an overlay of Kennedy Space Center consisting of 140,000 acre. The refuge includes seven distinct habitats for more than 1,500 species of plants and animals. The refuge offers recreation opportunities that include bird and wildlife observation, a wildlife drive, manatee observation deck, fishing and hunting and boating and paddling. Refuge roads, trails, and boat ramps are open daily from sunrise to sunset on State Road 402, five miles east of Titusville. Pick up a brochure and explore it. It's also um, a place for Playa Linda Beach. So you can look that up. That is a nude beach. <laughs> so if you ever show up at Playa Linda and see more than you bargained for, that's why. So this is a nature and um, technology center. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour that we had today of this facility. Um, I'm going to try to put together some more videos of other things that I've, I got to see and check out while I'm here working at NASA or at the Kennedy Space Center. But I hope you um, enjoyed this brief tour. If you do, please uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you like the information on this channel, be sure to share, 
subscribe to this channel and let others know the cool videos that we have on here and um, help this channel to grow. So until next time, everyone, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you're staying warm and safe where you are. God bless you all. Bye-bye now.